Hey everybody, Jennifer Dixon here with Thrive Yoga and Wellness. I'm playing with the computer just a bit. So I was just about to shoot a video. Uh, are we live? Hello? Yes, I was just about to shoot a video for someone that I thought might be really beneficial for all of the Thrive Yoga and Wellness family. So um, something that's been a big theme, not just today, but the last several weeks, honestly, for a while, is trying to figure out how to activate the posterior chain. We always look forward, right? Our eyeballs are on the front. We're moving forward. We don't really go backwards. And so as a result, things start to tighten up, like your psoas starts to tighten up. Um, your chest starts to tighten up. And then we round, and then it's uncomfortable, and our back hurts, and life is just bleh. So today, I want to shoot you a quick video, go live really fast on some exercises you can do because I know a lot of us are still working from home and so this will be less than five minutes and the goal is something that you can do if you get up go to the bathroom you know drink lots of water because then you will have to get up to go to the bathroom and then you will be able to stretch out the front part of your body and maybe you can try some of these exercises to actually activate the back body muscles which will help you to sit up a little straighter and maybe help to relieve some of the chronic kind of fatigue and or chronic back issues so we're going to start on our backs on the ground and we're going to go from the top down it might be a little bit easier so again super quick workout i'm labeling this as a warm-up to your workouts you can use it as a warm-up to your yoga practice at home you can use it as just like a midday pick-me-up it will help you to feel better because you're going to strengthen this back part like wake up those muscles and open up across your chest so the first thing we're going to do is lay down on your back keep your knees bent and if you have a lot of hair get it out of the way what we want to do is you'll probably notice how your shoulders just round forward and they may come up here to your ears what the first exercise that we're going to do is leave your hands down on your side and plug the back of your body into the mat so that is really starting to warm up across the lats the back part of your shoulders back part of your upper back what we don't want to do is fire up here along the top where the upper traps are so make your collarbones nice and broad maybe if you had a nice necklace you were trying to show it off a bit push the back of the body into the ground use your hands to help reach for your heels which will help to pull your shoulders down. Now notice that your ribs don't flare out. You wanna keep your lower ribs pressing firmly kind of down towards the mat. This is gonna automatically engage your core. Ha <laughs> ha, extra credit, core warm up. So pressing those lats. If you had a friend or if you wanted to, you could use your opposite hand underneath your, your angel wings right here and see if you can feel them active pressing into the ground. You want to start to feel this and you hold it for maybe three to five breaths, maybe longer if that feels good. If you can get your lats nice and strong, the next exercise is to just reach your arms straight up. Now what's going to want to happen probably, especially if you sit all day, is you're going to have your arms come up here. We don't want that. We want to pull the shoulders down, really using this, this angel wing section to help pull the shoulders down and away from the ears and pull them down into the mat. So if this is a hard thing for you to do, this is right where you hang out. Press the backs of those shoulders down into the mat, pressing the belly button to your spine, tailbone gets real heavy onto the ground. Now, if you can feel this in your lower, this lower shoulder area, like your angel wings, play with reaching for the sky, bringing it back down. And see if you can feel your shoulder move through that shoulder girdle, but don't necessarily just feel it all up here. You wanna feel these lats active as you pull it down. So maybe just do three to five of these and try not to let your ribs flare out. We're keeping the core nice and strong. Elbows stay long. I guess the elbows stay straight. Now, once you've got your lats, your lower shoulders, this area, these angel wings, it's firmly rooted into the ground. We're just going to move them up and down for like three to five times. Again, you don't want to feel this in your neck. You want to feel this in your lats. These angel, you want to feel your angel wings moving here. And then you only move as far up and as far down as you can keep this action in the back. This is a back body action. If you can do this about three to five times, give me like three to five circles. So if you're familiar with the Pilates work and Pilates arm springs, this is kind of that action. You'll go three to five times in each direction, making sure that you feel this in your back body. 
You're not feeling it up here along your neck, along your collarbones, because your collarbones are nice and broad. Beautiful. Now that the lats, the back of your upper back, are nice and fired, you're going to bring them down to the ground. Bring your hands down to the ground, rather. Bring your hands right beside your hips. And let's take our knees up. Bring your shins to parallel. You can have your shoes on or not. I just didn't bother taking them off. Now notice what's going to want to happen. Your ribs and your belly are going to want to flare up, but that's not what we want to happen. Press the tailbone heavy. Make the back of that bottom rib get heavy. We all have a curve in our low back, some more than others. Honor that, but if your tailbone's heavy and the low rib cage is heavy, you'll feel this in your core. So the first thing you do is feel this in your core, then get back into those lats. Pull the shoulder blades down and back. Feel those angel blades pressing into those mat, those angel wings rather. Now, if this is the best that you can do and it's like fired up, then this is right where you stay. Press the hands into the mat, press the shoulders into the mat, press everything away, your ears, hands, everything is away from your ears. So the hands are reaching away from the ears, shoulders are reaching away from the ears. Now, if you're feeling really froggy, we're just gonna tap those toes down, just maybe three to five but we don't lose the connection with the tailbone, we don't lose the connection with the lower rib cage, and we don't lose the angel wings pressing into the mat. Remember, this is a warm-up. This isn't necessarily a workout. We're just trying to wake up the core and wake up those back body muscles. We're just doing maybe two more. Don't let the belly flare out. Don't lose that connection with your angel wings and your lower ribs. Coming back to this tabletop position, we're only gonna do one because this is a warm-up. Pull those fingertips towards the edge of your mat, towards your heels. Press your head, tailbone really heavy, lower rib cage really heavy, backs of the shoulder blades really heavy. Lower those feet with control down to the mat. Feel that in the core, right? Now, if you have a yoga block at home, that's awesome. You can grab it. You can use a towel. You can use anything. I like to have something but, um, just in between the knees to help activate the midline, but for this video, we're going to pretend we do. If you have a yoga block or a Pilates ball, you'll grab it. Now we're going to start to get into the glutes and the hammies. Press down firmly into those feet. I'm going to have to slide my feet up just a smidge. You don't, it's not like a back bend in yoga where we're, we're reaching like a really tight um, ball. So it's going to be a little bit wider. You're energetically squeezing your heels towards your bottom. So the hands still press into the mat. The angel wings are pressing into the mat. The tailbone's really heavy, and we're squeezing the heels towards the bottom. What's that doing? That's firing up those hamstrings. That's helping to get you to feel this core that's necessary to support your frame. If you had a yoga block, you'd be squeezing that yoga block, so you'd find the inner thigh activation as well. We're only going to hold this another couple breaths, reconnect to those lats, those angel wings. Now we're going to start to do a nice pelvic tilt working into a really slow motion bridge pose. So you're gonna start with the tailbone, super scooping that pelvis, reaching the tailbone up towards the sky, but keep bringing the heels towards your bottom to make the, the hamstrings work. We're just do, getting the pelvis, the low back off the mat this first time, then we'll slowly roll it back down. You should feel this in your glutes and your hamstrings a whole bunch, but you should also feel this in your angel wings, these lats and the triceps as well. Keep the shoulders down and away from the ears. Keep pulling those heels towards you. Keep reactivating the hamstrings, and then we start to tilt it. We're going to bridge it all the way up, going one vertebra at a time if you can. Don't let your knees splay out. Keep your knees in together, especially if you have your yoga block, pressing those knees together, coming to a medium-high bridge pose. Feel how this is active along your glutes and your hammies. Hands are pressing into the ground. Lats are pressing into the ground. Now, super scoop some more. Recommit to that. Getting the belly button to spine. Dropping it down. Upper back, middle back, lower back, and relax. Last one, best one. Pressing those feet firmly into the mat. Drawing them towards your bottom. Bring the tailbone up towards the sky as your hands press into the mat. Angel wings press into the mat, tilt the tailbone, lift, lift, lift. We're not going for the biggest bridge of our life here. We're just going for feeling action in the calf, in the hamstring, in the glute, in the tricep, in the lats, those angel wings, but not necessarily up in the neck. We don't really want this in the neck. 
keep squeezing those knees towards the midline, reconnect to that super scoop, draw the navel to spine as we slowly start to think about articulating down upper back, middle back, lower back. Use your core to make this happen. Don't let those knees splay out and then come all the way down. Go ahead, give your knees a squeeze, roll it up, and there you have it. A really nice warm up for the upper, not the upper, for the back body, your posterior chain, which will help you to feel better, wake you up. It might also help to relieve a little bit of hmm, fatigue or pain that you may having in the, the back body. So try it out. Let me know what you think, and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.